Welcome to another, maybe exciting, five minute water pairing. So, uh, play symmetrical English. He's going to play for d4. Yep. All right, so maybe I can play it with e6. This position, or this tricky move. Try to play for e6 and push it b4. <clears throat> right, so knight e5. I mean, I might have some compensation here for the gaping d6. Uh, I hope. Um, in fact, can I do right? I'll bet the position. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Can I not just, if I took that, is that terrible? Oh, indeed it is. Mm. <clears throat> Just going to simplify the exchange up basically. I think takes has got check, unfortunately, so doesn't help. Ninety four to d six. Uh, no, not really helping. Um, I'm trying to get my king out, g6, king g7. Oh no, I'm just going into a pin. I, I think it's hopeless. I've just gone into a pin. Yeah. Oh dear, that was that was just bad, bad, bad. I don't know. Yeah, bishop b4 was logical then, and this is just. Uh, hang on, knight d7. Maybe it's not entirely over, knight b6. Uh, yes, it is. Rook takes b7. No, no, knight f8. All right, if I've got knight b6, I'm still, I'm still playing. I'm still playing for a moment. <laughs> well, he's got a4, yeah. Um, not for much longer. Yeah, it's like the exchange down for nothing. Why do I do this? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, it's so horrible. I don't, I don't know. I, I need to know a bit more what I'm doing in the opening. And sorry, this is the first session. I, I didn't expect to get such a strong plan as well, but all right. Interesting thinks that's okay. I, I should know some opening theory here. I think this is probably very dicey. All right, let's imagine this. Just playing normally. Maybe d5 here, even. I mean, probably, I need, I need to know some very here. <laughs> this this is uh, just giving up. I don't know what I'm doing, giving up the dark sky bishop, actually. Maybe I'm a bit freaked out here by his rating and stuff. I don't know why I think to double the pawns, it's, it's, not, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. What's this about? Oh, knight takes d4. 
Even if I had to sack a pawn here, that'd be a good play. Yeah, this sort of position, I've got the two bishops and good play. I'm just voluntarily giving up my dark squares. Yeah, knight b5. Just, it's all pretty. I think the cool thing was, yeah, for knight c7, just winning the exchange. But otherwise, okay, it's it's guaranteeing an advantage. I should have played like this if I was going to keep the double pawns. Ah, uh, but I'm restrained. I, I didn't really give a fight there, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. No fight. But this this would have been better. Um, not losing the exchange. Yeah, after losing the exchange, it's just really, really bad. I mean, this 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 isn't great. But uh, okay, okay. I think there's a lack of theory in that position as well. I'm not really. I should really investigate this whole early d4. I knew, I knew kind of knew this was going to happen. This he's going to play for d4, and all right, okay. Comments, questions, likes, appreciated. Thanks very much.